So do you guys remember when we put this piece together from ABBA Patio? They sent us this really cool cot that has an umbrella on it that is also adjustable. Well, they sent us something else that is really cool that I've been really needing and I wanna share it with you guys. Abba patio I was in such need of one of these and let me just tell you the features on this not only does it have an easy crank to put your umbrella up and down it also has the adjustable arm at the top so when the Sun changes throughout the day you can angle your umbrella accordingly how cool is that my other umbrella didn't do that and come the afternoon we sit here at the table and like maybe the kids are swimming or we're at the pool and we can't see the screens on our phone because the sun sets over there and it shines directly through. And now in the afternoons, I'll be able to angle my umbrella. Thank you so much, Abba Patio. I love it. As always, guys, we'll be leaving a link in the description below. Go check them out. We just love the quality of their products and their furniture. Before long, I hope to transform our whole patio to Abba Patio furniture. Thanks again. Hey guys, been an uh, update on the boat. Everybody wants the update on the boat. Probably not, but I'm gonna give it to you anyway. Keep the noise down, please. Trying to do some filming over here. Oh no, you didn't. Update on the boat is we're just about maybe ready to drop her in the water. I got to go hook up a fuel pump. I'm gonna bring y'all along for that little journey. Uh, Father-in-law came down, did some rewiring. And uh, I have to get the impeller. I don't, did I show did everybody the impeller? Uh, that was no. messed up. So I have to get one of them. I'll show you all that too. Yeah, but right now we've got a little side project we're going to be working on. And it's um, the pool chill. It's a pool chiller. You know the things that uh, you hook up to keep your pool cooled down? Well, this is not like a... Uh, air conditioner or anything like this. This is just a simple one. I, th I don't know if you've ever had an in-ground pool. You might have seen it online. It's just uh, some pipes hooked up that shoots the water in the air and hopefully by sending the water through the air it'll drop the water temperature down some. So I've seen them online. They're about $40, $50 if you want to buy one online. So it's a kit I guess. Well we, went, we decided we're going to make our own and we brought you along and I'm going to show you all the pieces and everything and how to do it. And then we're gonna see if it works. So stick around, it's gonna be a good show. All right, guys, so um, this is the pipe right here that I took off of the pool. This is the return pipe. The water comes into the other two hoses, goes through the pump and returns to the pool through this hose. So I took that off, so we took it to Lowe's to help try to match it up. And then uh, this is the stuff. Oh, my pipe's getting away. These are the things we bought to hopefully be able to finish this stuff. So, um, what we're gonna do is we got one piece of three quarter pipe, a T, two end caps, a 90, which we might or might not use, a valve switch, hose clamps, pull ties. How we're gonna try to do this is I'm gonna try I'm gonna try first to see if I can hose clamp this into here to prevent damaging any of that hose right there. If that doesn't work, then I'll have to uh, glue it in, which I'm hoping I don't have to do that, or maybe put a piece of rubber or something around there before I clamp it. What we're gonna do is um, cut this pipe right here, 
this hose is going to go out of this valve right here onto this pipe. We're going to cut a little piece of the pipe, uh, run it through the T, and run a piece of pipe out of each side of this T with little holes in it to squirt over the swimming pool. So all we got to do is get to work and start making it happen. Total expense out of pocket is, well, I already have the drill bit and I believe I have the purple, we use purple primer and uh, PVC cement to put the pipes together. I think I already have that and uh, a drill bit and a drill. So total out of pocket expense at this time is $15. Compared to if the, you had to buy the kit, I believe the kit is uh, 50. Like I said, it's like 50. So let's see if it works. Then it's you can cool your pull off for 15, 20 dollars. Probably 20 with the primer and the uh, and the glue, and then a drill bit probably be like 20 bucks, but still cheaper. So let's see what happens. So that's going to be a really good system if it works out for the pool. It should. A friend of mine did it with their pool, and they got an above ground pool. Theirs is a permanent above ground. Um, which is a little different, but anyways, my neighbor has a garden and he has been giving me the hookup. I want to show you guys something that I put together tonight that I'm having for dinner. He gave me a bunch of cabbage, squash, and zucchini, but this is cabbage and zucchini. I guess I could have put a squash in there. I don't know why I didn't. And then it's got garlic, salt, pepper, and oregano. So should be kind of tasty, yeah. So, uh, this... This pipe here I got, it's um, five feet. I measured it with a tape measure. It's five feet long. So I'm gonna cut it, I'm gonna go two feet, two feet, and then I'll have a one foot piece left over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut two feet and two feet off of this pipe and uh, have that. So I got my pieces of pipe cut. I got two two foot pieces and one one foot piece. So what you wanna do is, when you put PVC together, so they're going to fit into these slots like that. They're going to shove them in there and they're going to glue them together. But what you want to do is hit these with sandpaper. Hit these ends with sandpaper before you glue them and scuff them up. And then you want to run it around in, into here too. So this is what I was talking about. This is uh, PVC cement right here. This is what they call purple primer. And this is what you want to glue your PVC pipes together with. It seems to work really well. Be ample with it. Um, when you put the purple primer, you want to swish it around here and then also do it to the inside of your pipe right here. And then you take the glue and you rub it around this pipe and you stick it in there. And uh, if you see a little bit coming out, that's a good thing. If you see a little bit of the glue ooze out, that's that's just fine. That means you got a good seal. What's up, guys? This is next day. We are getting ready to go out to turn on the new system for the pool that's going to keep it cool. Ooh, it's breezy. I wonder if we're going to get any storms. Anyways, the pool's a little bit cloudy, but it should be clearing up here soon because I put some uh, algicide and stuff in it. So basically, they've got everything strapped down and ready to go. We're going to see if it works. So this is going to actually shoot over into the pool and hopefully keep it cool. <laughs> Fingers crossed, right? Oh, look at that. Oh, it didn't hold. No. Oh. It was gonna work. It's a good try while it lasted. All right, so we gotta figure out something else. Are you serious? Fail. Slight pool fail, guys, slight pool fail. All right, guys, well, he worked on it a little bit more. I think we've got it. But it is working so far, and now we're gonna zip tie it down to keep it in place. But that's what it looks like. And that's what's gonna help keep the water a little bit cooler, hopefully, is by pushing the water through the air to drop it, uh, take the heat out of it before it hits the water. Hey guys, so I'm sitting here editing the video today. This is real time, by the way. And realized that we never really showed you what the system looks like. Actually, I think we will be showing you at a future date because we modified it a little bit since this video. But I wanted to put all this information in one video so I don't hear, what the heck? You guys didn't even show us what it looks like and how it works and operates. 
So I'm gonna do that now real quick, just so it's all in this one video, but you'll probably be seeing how we made changes to the system uh, in the next couple days in a future video. So here is what it looks like right now. I know it's a little bit loud, but anyways, this is what it looks like right now. Let me go down there and show you up close. All right, so here is what it looks like. You know, it's not pretty, right? So, but that wasn't its purpose to begin with. The purpose of this was to cool the pool down, and I'll get to that in just a second. But we had it coming out and laying on this bar, but it kept dripping a lot of water. So we put that, we ended up putting that elbow back in. So here's the elbow piece, and then just have a little piece here, about the length of my finger. This was the valve, and this allows you, if you wanted to, this pool, probably not a good idea to do it, but you can, well, I can't do it with one hand, but you can turn this off to where the water stops. But the way these pumps are made, this is probably not a good idea. As it comes up and out, here's the T. And we covered this hole because this hole was shooting in the wrong direction. But um, yeah, we could have been a lot better with our hole placement as well, which we might actually be redoing this just to make the holes more symmetrical. But again, not the purpose. The purpose was to cool the pool. And of course the end caps go on there and then this is the system that we have and as you can see it comes out and up and then we permanently attach this to that so not the prettiest system if you work off of our design maybe you can make yours a little bit nicer looking um but just so you know how this works our weather has been 90 degrees plus okay and i run my pump a lot especially at night this has cooled the pool down from 92 degrees, which is where the pool was staying at and it was just too hot, to now, yesterday when I got in, it was 80 degrees. It has chilled this pool over 10 degrees. Now, we haven't had really, really hot days, 100 degree high humidity yet, so I'll be curious to see how it operates in that kind of weather, but for right now, I can tell you the kids got in it yesterday and they got back out and told me it was too cold. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. That's what you want. You want a cold pool on a hot summer day, guys. That is it. And like I said, you'll probably be hearing me talk about this in the next couple of videos because this was a new change, adding this elbow in to make it stretch over the pool so it didn't leak down. And it still sprays out a little bit, but not, not terrible, right? So, anyway, I hope you guys find this useful and, you know, kids, Show your parents this video. If you guys have any questions, put it in the comments below. But we're at Target now, and Brooke is trying to find a purse. Oh, like that one? Oh, I can hear you. This one's kind of cute. You like this one? That's adorable. Don't lie to me. Do that. <laughs> we need a nice bag for when we go to Ocean City to hold all of our stuff down the boardwalk. No. Yes, one more. Stuff. Like, no, like you need your own. I'm not gonna carry your stuff. Oh, I thought you were like, yeah. You know what I did get us? You know what? what? I, the lanyards that go around your neck and your phone hangs in it. Oh, did you got those right? I got them for you and Blake and me, yeah. Those will be coming in. This is 45, I need a $30 one. Look, Brooke's um, acting up again. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, well, Brooke, here's big purses, big bags. That one zippers the black one. Do you 25. Like that? That's ugly. I don't know. That one comes with a wallet. Oh, that's actually really super cute. Or it's probably separate and somebody threw it in there. Oh, because it matches. This one's huge. That one is pretty big. I don't like the handle. You like stay in one spot. It's not fun. <laughs> I'm they do have a lot to choose from though. If I don't find one here. Look, there you go. There's your big bag right there. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> no. All right. You want a zipper? I don't want a zipper. Hey, look, Brooke, it's green. What? It's green. What? Green. No, it's too green. Mm -hmm. Too green. Yeah, it is too green. Oh, this is cute. Yeah. Look. All kinds of zippers. Uh -uh. Yeah. Okay, you don't want to. Have yes, we do have different tastes, guys. That's why I'll never pick out anything for Brooke. <laughs> we have totally different tastes from each other.